Hey guys, and welcome back for another episode with us, Benny and Mika. In today's adventure, we're at the south of Thailand in Krabi. Now I'm sure we've all seen images of this paradise plastered over social media, but today we're going to show you what it's like to actually visit the islands and hopefully give you some tips for when you plan your trip here. Good morning, we are in Krabi and we've woken up, it's kind of late, we had a big one. Anyway, Ben's about to go on this water slide, so enjoy the show. Hey, with all these little kids, it's just making me laugh. <laughs> it looks like it goes really slow. I know that he would be so We can eat, we can't eat, we can't eat, we can't eat. <laughs> we can. This one was a good one. It was a bit slim pickings for us vegans, wasn't it, babe? We've got some fruit and some toasted jam. That's literally it. We ended up having such a late night. We were just out pretty much enjoying the vibe. There was like fire show and we were at the beach for sunset. It was so beautiful. But yeah, I think we both had a bit of a touch of the sun yesterday. I've got these weird little marks on my skin and Ben's face feels super dry and he got a really burnt nose. And you also, what did you do to your nose? I did a backflip in the sand and my head touched the sand. He scraped all of his nose and forehead. <laughs> He didn't admit to it, but afterwards we were like in the water or whatever, and I was like, <laughs> you've got a cut on your nose, and he's like, I know how I did it. <laughs> that was so funny. Well, we're going to get ready for the day. We have to drop our washing off. Like, one whole suitcase, not even joking, is full of dirty washing, isn't it? Yeah, so I'd say that would be like nearly 30 kilos of washing. <laughs> and if they do it on kilos. We're up for a bit of a charge. That's going to eat into the budget. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are ready for the day now. We are going to go down to the main beach here in Krabi, Ad Nang. It's got like the restaurants and all the shops along the esplanade there. But we're just going to chill out there because we actually can't hire a scooter out. Like they're all booked out. But yeah, we're just going to have a really nice chill day, enjoy the sun, have a little swim in the ocean. I'm so excited. And I'm going to show you the view of our little balcony here at the hotel. It's so pretty. Alright, our washing is dropped off. <laughs> One job done. I don't think we've done that for like two weeks maybe. Oh, be about that, yeah. <laughs> Definitely piled up my suitcases. Very empty. I think I've got two shirts left. Oh my gosh. And we asked here for a scooter yesterday, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. That... Bang gone, done, finished. It's so hard to get one. It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, now we're just trekking. We're going to be using our legs since we don't have any wheels. And we're going to head to the beach. I think we might pick up a mango sticky rice. We found one that we really liked yesterday. And I did tell her I would see her tomorrow after I had it because it was so good, wasn't it? It was really good. Right, what are we getting? Two mango sticky rice, one fresh coconut. Yum. We came, this is where we came last night. It's so good and so fresh. Product. Mango, sticky rice, ice cream, coconut flesh, overlooking the 
testing the water. How perfect is this? Really better. We are in our element right now. All right, let's eat this. Coconut brown sugar. We haven't had that before, have we? So, um, it is just coconut, then with ice, and then the sugar, and then I think they put it on like that frozen thing. And then they've just knocked it all together and just made a big tub of love. <laughs> mm. We were just laughing because these people are rolling their suitcase in the sand and all in the water. He's picking his up, but the lady did not. Oh, it's back in the water. So Ben's been off looking for a boat tour for us and we've opted to do a private boat tour. It looks really good. And what was the price you got it for? So we got it for a private one. We are going for eight hours. That's pretty decent. Yeah, full day. 3,300 baht. It's about 140 Australian. So that's so great. And we get to leave early as well, getting picked up at 6 a.m. All the other boat tours tend to leave at around 8 a.m., 9 a.m. They come and pick you up. So it'll be really nice there. We'll be snorkeling before they're even out of bed. We're going to probably just watch the sunset here from our Neng Beach again because we can't get a scooter still. Haven't heard a peep. So what have you got? Some nuts, have you? They're actually pretty good, aren't they? These are awesome cashew tanks. They're very nice. Good beach snack. I don't know what I'm meant to feel anymore. Bub, how are you feeling? I felt like I was so nervous for some reason about the boat trip. I think because I haven't been to the ocean in so long, but I'm so excited. But yeah, we're on the way now. The driver's just picked us up. It's like 10 past six in the morning. By the way, you look so cute and shiny with your sunscreen. I know, I <laughs> feel so oily. It's supposed to be a non-oily one, but I'm pretty slippery. Yeah, so we've come to Tub Island first and in yep. the background we've got Chicken Island with the famous chicken head kind of rock. We got up for sunrise so it looks like we're the first ones here. And it's low tide which is perfect because no one's here and there's a big sandbar that comes up. This is impressive. The rock formation is absolutely huge. This place is so amazing. Oh my god, I'm having the best day ever, literally. So we've made it. This is our third stop for the day already. It's 8.30 in the morning. And wow, I mean, I am just so over the moon. And it looks like we're sharing with one other person. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so we've made it to our last stop for the day, which is Rayleigh Beach. It's picturesque. There's so many palm trees, cute little cafes. As you can see, it's very popular. There's a lot, a lot of boats. Yep, and you can also stay here. So if you want to explore the place to yourself, you might want to either come over on a sunset or sunrise boat or just spend the night here. Yeah, <laughs> it would be really nice. And it looks like they have like kayaks that you can higher out and you can go through between the rocks it looks really cool as we we're coming in on the boat we saw some people doing that and it looked really fun so if we've got enough time we'll try and get that done as well this is our kayak this is the place where we rented it and it was 200 baht for one hour should what, i be do you have anything else to put in here no okay. should i be in the back of the front you're in the front baby okay we are on a huge time crunch. We've got 45 minutes to get in and out of the cave and enjoy it. Will we be able to get there quick enough with one? Yep. Okay, we are in the kayak. How are you going back there? Yep. Working up an apple tart? It's quite good actually. It's got some grips on it. Really? Yeah. It actually looks like a brand new kayak. So we only have literally one paddle <laughs> because someone else took ours. And I look like the biggest princess here on the front, like I don't kayak. But just so you know, I would kayak if I had a paddle. How nice is that shade? Oh, that's a bit of reprieve that we needed. Literally the word out of my mouth. You took the word out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, it must have been while I was paddling you. <laughs> oh, cool. Look at that. Looking. That looks epic. Okay, we've just spotted our entryway point here on the left. Oh, there's even some snorkelers. Up there we can spot some people. So we're going to make a crash landing here on the beach and have a little explore inside. Wow, this is cool. You went up like a monkey. God, I feel like I'm going to go swinging. <laughs> go, darling. Where did you go in your little sarong cape? <laughs> I have to go for pop yet. Ow. <laughs> your little tootsies are burning, honey. Yeah. Oh, darling, you honestly look like you're out of the bloody beetroot pack. You're so cooked. Well, look at the view out there. Smokes. Oh, I dare put all my weight on this. Oh my god, look at you go. I definitely cannot fit through there. Alright, looks like we've come to our second ladder. This is so cool, like literally exploring from a kayak and then coming here. Wow, you should see the way that they've made this. Well, it goes up pretty steep, doesn't it? They've got like a bamboo ladder for this next part. Careful you don't hit your head. Yeah. We're inside the huge limestone cast mountain called Guat Lan and have entered Bat Cave. Inside this cave, there are multiple openings that give you stunning views of the beach below, and the formations are incredible. Before we get on the kayak, what do you say we go for a quick dip? I could definitely go for a quick dip. Yeah. Cool off before we do that. Let's do that. Yeah. Race back in time for our boatman yep. and to return our kayak. So, looking at the time, we've got 20 minutes to get down and paddle back. Okay. <laughs> we love a challenge. <laughs> Mission accepted. So, we're going the scenic route back and we're going through the cave. And this is absolutely epic. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my god, I think I'm laying down. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! That is sick. You made it. Did you love that? So good. You had like a full blown workout and I've literally just chilled the whole time. <laughs> but we are making it back just in the nick of time for our boatman. We are powering. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a motorboat. Yes, 
so we made it back in time for the kayak in case you were wondering yeah the suspense is over <laughs> we made it and we sent the boatman back now and we're just going to get our own lift back from Rayleigh it's only like a short drive from here isn't it yeah I think the boat ride takes like 10 to 15 minutes if that all right looks like we've got our first delivery spring rolls with plum sauce they look so yum they might be super hot not too bad that's definitely the plum sauce wow that looks good oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not cold. <laughs> I feel so bad for laughing. What are you most excited for? I think this wrap, to be honest. And then these chippies. <laughs> and. You gonna try your juice? My favourite fresh pineapple juice. So we finished lunch, we've been hanging out at the beach for a little bit and we've made it over to a new spot now. I think this is going to be the pick of the lot for sunset and we have these two huge caves. Yeah. And quite questionable actually, there's a whole heap of wooden dicks. A huge pile of all different shapes, sizes. Like over a metre long. What? What is this place? <laughs> <laughs> it's really crazy, but just to the left of us, you can literally swim in the cave and it looks epic. After jumping in for a swim, we explored the nearby caves and you really could spend days appreciating everything Rayleigh has to offer. And lastly, we are mesmerized by the towering cliffs surrounding this absolutely beautiful beach. Now, with the sun setting and painting a glowing orange hue across the sky, it's given us the last thing we needed so we can truly say this has been an amazing day from start to finish. But we're not finished with Krabby yet because in the next episode we're going on another private boat tour to the Hong Islands and lastly we'll spend a few days on the island of Koh Lanta. So we hope you enjoyed the adventure and if you did hit that subscribe button and let us know in the comments whether you'd visit Krabby. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode of Benny and Mika. Bye! Yep, the big fat cave. Yep, the big fat cave.